Hi ho stampers, welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Velder and today I'm going to show you a card with a little bit of a spin to it. This is a faux silk technique but I've actually done it on um, a colored cardstock and um, have a background on it so I just wanted to show you that you can do a little bit more with the um, faux silk technique. So let me just get started. I'm going to start off with a, uh, a piece of tip top tote and all the measurements will be on my blog so um, I did this one with um, early espresso background and it's kind of turning a little bit green so I'm gonna try it with tip top tote um, and see what it comes out to be so I'm using the stamp set you've got this and um, it is got a background it has a background stamp in here that I just absolutely love and we're just going to stamp this on the back and let it dry. Okay, we'll just set that aside and let it dry. So that's tip top tote on tip top tote. Hmm, <laughs> that's a mouthful. All right, we'll put this away. Now you want to have scrap paper underneath this, and you'll see why as we walk along. So um, I'm going to now take a piece of this is just regular tissue paper. Now, be careful when you buy tissue paper that it doesn't have a shiny side. If it does have a shiny side, make sure you stamp on the opposite side. You want to stamp on the side that is actually very, very um, dull. Okay, you don't want, because the other side isn't going to dry, even with, with stays on ink. So this is my um, tissue paper. I'm going to take my flower and some stays on ink and just ink it up. Okay, and we're going to stamp it down. There we go. Beautiful. Now let me just show you why we have a, a, a piece of scrap paper underneath here. Um, it, does, it does go through and as we color it's going to end up going through also. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my um, ink refills, and I happen to have watermelon, old olive, and um, crushed curry. I'm going to take one of our blender pens, and you don't want to use an aqua pen because an aqua pen will just actually uh, run all over the place. So I'm just going to take and clean this off. It's got some green in it, so I'll, I'll actually start with my green. And you just color it in. Now I'll probably speed this up a little bit just so that you don't have to watch me color the whole thing. But um, it's really not, it doesn't take that long. It's really very pretty. And uh, just make sure you have some lights and some darks. You don't even have to really think about it, just color in. Now to clean this off, I'm just going to take, don't go like this because you're going to ruin the tip. With a blender pen, you just kind of run it until it, it um, cleans off. I just kind of do it with the, uh, the side of it and clean it off. And now we're going to go to the watermelon. So I'm just going to pick up my watermelon color here and color. Just take each petal. Doesn't have to be perfect. You want some lights and some darks. Just always remember that. Some lights and some darks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with, first clean off my, uh, my blender pen here, and then we're going to pick up some crushed curry and just put a little bit of crushed curry here in the middle. Just like that. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Now this is the reason why we make sure that there's scrap paper underneath. So we're just going to let that dry for a second. Let me clean this off because there's one spot that I just, let's see. There we go. I'm just adding a little bit of dark to certain spots just to give it some depth even though when we're all done. Okay, just let that dry for just a moment while I clean off my pen. 
that's all there is to cleaning. Hey, if you want the uh, blender pen refill, um, so you can refill your, your um, I have a recipe over on my blog. I'll put it over on my blog. It's the blender pen recipe refill. And um, you just take out this tip, add the, um, the, the recipe that I'm going to give you, put the tip back on, and it stays good as gold. As long as you don't ruin your tips, um, you will have a great um, refill. Okay, so let's take this away. I don't think we need that anymore, but I do need my silicone mat. Because now, let's get this out of the way so you can see the card. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, our glue our glue stick. Now, if you're somebody who bought my grab-and-go bag, it has every adhesive that we sell in there. And this, um, this glue stick, a lot of people don't know what to use with it. I've been using my Crystal Effects. I've been using my Fast Fuse, my Snail. Each... Each um, adhesive has a purpose, and um, my glue stick is one of them. And this this um, technique lends itself wonderful for this project. So I'm just going to set this aside for a minute. We're going to bring in that piece of um, tip. Uh, so now we need to take and put some of our glue stick all over. Remember to use your silicone mat. I like to get it around the edges really well so that it uh, sticks good. So I covered this entire piece of tip top taupe with our glue stick and now what I'm going to do after this is completely dried you're going to take and you're just going to wrinkle it up believe it or not this is the technique. So just wrinkle it up the more wrinkles the better but be very very careful when you're taking it um, and unwrinkling it because you don't want to rip it. Okay, you see all the wrinkles that are in there? This is good. Now this piece is always cut bigger than um, this piece right here. And that's so that you have some, some play with it. And what I mean by that is I like to let it hang over the edges and um, uh, either cut it or, or just kind of fold it back. Now, I'm just going to lay this down here like that. And then I'm going to take my brayer. We want the wrinkles in it. That's part of the technique. We want the wrinkles in it. Now the tip top taupe doesn't show through as well as the um, as well as the early espresso. But the early espresso, for some reason, when it mixed with the um, when it mixed with the uh, glue stick, it uh, it's really kind of funny because it turned green. But it looks pretty. Um, just not what I thought it was going to be. Now I'm going to take my glue stick. Now you can either trim this off or you can take your glue stick and I'll show you what to do here. All right, we're still on our, our, um, our silicone mat so that our glue doesn't get all over. And I'm going to take my, um, my uh, paper snips. Let's see. I'll take these. Just, we're just going to cut off the corners like this, just so it's easier to fold. Okay. And we're going to fold this over like this. Just rub it over to the end. Remember there's adhesive here on the bottom. And now we're ready to adhere it to our card. So this is what it looks like so far. And you see all the little wrinkles in there? I don't know if you can see them or not. They just, they'll look prettier when they dry. Um, and then we're going to take our black layer and layer it onto that. So I think I will take my Fast Fuse and adhere my Fast Fuse to the back of this one. And here we go. I could have used, um, I could have used my glue stick here. But I like to um, use fast fuse when I'm um, adding my layers to the cards. And that's just going to go on here like this. And then we will add it to our card base. Again, all the dimensions will be on my blog along with, whoops, oh, here we go. And then just add that to our card. And there we have it. Faux silk. You can add a sentiment in if you want. You can add just, oh, we forgot one more thing. 
I add a little white, a little white to it just to kind of set it off a little bit. And this is just our white gel pen. Just randomly put some white in there. It just kind of sets it off a little bit and makes it look just so much prettier. There we go. There. And I want to show you one more. So these were put on with um, these were put on uh, with um, a tip top tote background. But this is what it looks like when I have a white background to it. I will put all of these pictures um, or all of these cards on my blog so you can see them. But um, I just hope you enjoyed my post. It's a little twist on the um, uh, faux silk technique. And if you have any questions, let me know. Take care and have a great day.